Hi, it's Tarrant. And Stella from Meeple University. Today we'll be teaching you how to play Orchard, a nine card solitaire game. And at the end of this video you will be able to play this game. Coming up. Let's learn to play Orchard, a game designed by Mark Tuck and published by Sideroom Games and Guff Studios. Let's get to the table. Orchard is a nine card pattern matching solitaire game in which the player will try to overlap these orchard cards, making as many matching groups of trees as possible. The aim of the game is to score as many points as possible, as tracked by these dice, within the placement of nine cards. To set up the game, shuffle the 18 orchard cards and then take 9 at random. You will only use these 9 in the game and the 18 are provided to give you variability from game to game. Deal the top card of this deck face up into the centre of the table and then take another 2 which form your starting hand. Keep the 15 scoring dice and the 2 rotten fruit tokens nearby ready for use. For ease of use, I recommend setting them all to the one fruit side and have all of the fruit oriented in the same direction. This will make them easier to use as score trackers during the game. You're now ready to play. Orchard is played in eight turns. On each turn, you will choose one of the cards from your hand and then play it onto the table overlapping cards already in play. You'll use dice to score any matching overlaps you make and then you will draw back up to two cards. Play continues in this manner until you've placed all nine cards or can't legally place again. When choosing and placing a card from your hand, you are ultimately trying to make as many matches between the trees on the top card and the ones underneath. You can rotate the card in whichever direction you wish and the only basic rule is that you must make at least one overlap. So this would not be legal but this would. In this case it looks like the best option is to place here, overlapping two yellow trees and a red. To overlap with a tree which already has a scoring die, rotate the die to the next scoring side and place the die back on top of the top card. The dice in this game increase in score from 1 to 3 to 6 to 10. You can never increase a die beyond 10 and there are two leaf sides which are for decoration only. After you've increased the score on any existing dice, any new overlaps are marked with a one point die, like so. You are limited to five dice of each colour, and if you need a sixth, you simply don't score that next overlap. The basic rules require that all of your overlaps match, however you may break this rule twice per game using the rotten fruit tokens. Suppose I wish to place this card here, which matches with these three, but not with this one. I will increase the score on the two existing dice that match, but remove any dice on the non-matching space and replace it with rotten fruit. Then I will overlap the card like so, and place the one scoring red die to finish the move. Rotten Fruit can be a good move if it lets you make some high scoring combinations, but once it's been placed it will be worth negative 3 points at the end of the game, and you are never allowed to place a card again which overlaps that space, even if the colours match. The game ends after you've placed and resolved your ninth and final card, meaning both the deck and your hand are empty. In some rare circumstances, the game may also end because you have no legal placements of cards remaining. Then count up your score. Simply add up all of the pips on the dice you've placed and deduct three points for each rotten fruit you've placed. For example, this score here is 38. Then compare your score against this table of amusing fruit puns in the rulebook. Orchard may also be played competitively among any number of players, provided each player has one separate copy of the game. To do this, one player is designated as the caller, and sets up and plays the game as normal. Any time that caller draws a card, either the starting setup card or into hand, the caller announces that card's number to the rest of the table, and any other players who are playing search through their decks 
to find the same numbered card, meaning that all players will play with the same sequence of cards and your final scores can be compared like apples with apples. And that's how to play Orchard. We hope you enjoyed this video and we hope it helps you. If you enjoyed this video, please help us by hitting the like button. Subscribe to us, you can also hit the meeple in the corner to do so and hit the bell icon so you'll be one of the first to know when we have new and exciting videos. You can also follow me on Instagram for my board games journey. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, please write them in the comment section below. Until next time!